Nowadays, making a website is easy. If you want to make a professional WordPress website for your business or want to make any kind of WordPress website in a very short time, then this tutorial is for you. You don't need to have any previous experience, even don't need to do a single line of coding. Just follow my tutorial in step by step and you will make your own dream website in next one hour. Before moving forward, let me introduce myself. I am Farjana Roshit, professional web designer and developer and I am working in this area for last 8 years. So you are learning from a real web developer. Now let's have a look which you are going to make in today's tutorial. I will show you how you can get your own domain and hosting, then how to install WordPress, how to install any WordPress theme and plugins. How to set up the most amazing page builder elementor for free. Then I will show you how to design any section with this builder. How you can customize any section with our own text and own images. And finally I will show you how you can get this kind of fully professional designed website in few seconds. Alright, so far you see if you think this tutorial adds some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And you will find a timestamp in the description, so you can jump any specific part you need. Alright. Now let's see the steps which you are going to do in today's tutorial. I will show you how you can get your own domain and hosting and here I will show you how you can get 60% discount through my link and also I will show you how you can get a free domain with hosting. Then I will show you how to install WordPress. Then we will install a theme. Here we will install a free theme and then I will show you how to install Elementor page builder and finally I will show you how to make this amazing website. If you have web hosting already you can skip this part or if you don't have then follow along. So to get domain and hosting just go to fajanarusit.com and here go to tools and here is web hosting here is bluehost web hosting link so now click on get started so why bluehost in my opinion bluehost is the best web hosting provider i am a web developer i tried so many web hosting companies i don't want to mention their name but i personally ended up using bluehost hundreds of my clients using bluehost and they never complain about using it if you see my bluehost account i have hosted here tons of websites and i never get a downtime their customer support is really amazing in case if you need any help and that's why I always recommend Bluehost and their price is really affordable for everyone. Now click on get started. You can see their pricing so you have different options based on what you need. If it's your first website and you only want to host one website then you can take their basic plan. And if you have multiple websites more than one, you can pick their plus or choice plus options. Though both options are almost same, choice plus options have domain privacy plus protection and site backup options. But we don't necessarily need that. And you can take their pro plans if you are planning to host a big e-commerce website and if you have millions of visitors already. As a beginner, let's start with the basic plan. It will cost only $3.95 per month 
and you will get one website, 50 GB SSD storage, unmetered bandwidth, free SSL certificate, standard performance, one included domain, five parked domains, and 25 subdomains. And in this price, it's awesome. But in future, if you have multiple websites, you can upgrade it to your plus plan. So basically, we can upgrade or downgrade our plan anytime. Now let's click on select. Now if you have domain name already, you can type your domain name here and configure it. I'm assuming you don't have a domain name already. So let's select a domain name from here. On the right side, you see there are several options .com, .online, .site, .website and so many options. But I always suggest to take .com website because it's good for search engine optimization and also .com website looks more professional and legit. So here I am selecting a domain name for this tutorial purpose. So I'm typing here for Jana WP. So my domain name will be farjanawp.com and I'm clicking to next. So here is showing the domain name farjanawp.com is available. Awesome. Now I need to put my account information here. So here I'm typing my first name, last name my business name and selecting my country and here is my state address city postal code and he typing my phone number and email address And here the email address is really important so make sure you are putting your best email address because after completing purchase a receipt will send to that email address now here is the package information by default it's selected for 33 months that means for three years and if you now see the price is showing $3.95 per month but we can reduce this price. Here we only take the necessary things. For starting we can take it for one year that means for 12 months and it will cost $5.95 per month. It's still pretty cheap. So now we can see the total price $71.40 for a whole year. That's awesome. And here I will show you a secret tip how you can reduce this price more so now i'm going to hover outside of this page so when i'm going to hover on back button or outside of this page here we will see a pop-up window which will offering you last price two dollar 65 cents per month now click on claim savings and now you can see the price $2.65 per month when 3 years selected. So now I am going to select 12 months price again. And here you can see the total price now showing $59.40 for a whole year. It's amazing. Now I am going to package extras. And here you can see domain privacy press protection which is adding more prices here so you can select or deselect domain privacy having domain privacy is good no one can get to know who is the owner of the website but i'm deselecting it because i want to be transparent and it's not that important to me at this moment i'm also turning off site lot security and code guard basic I don't need site lot security and code guard basic either so I'm deselecting those as well so now you can see the total price is now $59.40 for a whole year now here I'm putting my payment information 
So here I'm tapping my credit card number and here I'm putting my CVV code and expiration date. And now also select this check icon. So you are agreed with their terms and policy. And when you complete purchasing through my link, you see you are getting a huge discount. And I will also get a commission. So nothing extra, that's a win-win situation. Thank you for that because it supports this channel and help me to make more valuable videos like this for you. So now click on submit. Okay, so now you can see your purchase was a success. We sent a confirmation email to dvhat at gmail.com. Now I'm going to check my email. So here I got an email here. So here is the verification email for my purchase. I'm going to check it and verify my email. So now my email is verified successfully. And next I will get uh, another email. Here is my payment confirmation and, and here Bluehost sent me an invoice for my purchase. Now from here we have to create a account. Here is my domain name and here I have to type a password. I'm typing my password and retype it checking on their privacy policy and create account. Okay, now save it. So your account is ready to go. You can log in. So now I'm going to log in. Here I need to type my password which I already created now and log in. I'm saving it. For now I'm skip it because I will do it later with you in step by step. I'm clicking on get started. Turning off domain privacy and protection and confirm it. So we have successfully completed purchasing our domain and hosting. To install WordPress, go to my sites and from here we are going to create size. So from here, here is site name. I'm typing here Farjana Rashid and site tagline. So I'm just typing WordPress website and here here is some advanced option so from here we can type our email address for this WordPress website by default we will get the email which we used for this Bluehost account so we can skip it or we can put a different email address for this WordPress and here is WordPress admin username so here also by default we will get the username which we used for this Bluehost account but uh, we can use a different one. I'm just typing here admin Fajana and WordPress admin password. I'm typing a password and then click on next. And from here, here is the domain which we are going to install our WordPress website. And here is some um, subdirectory. So if we want to install this WordPress in a subdirectory, that case we can type some name. But this time we want to install this WordPress in our root directory. So we can keep it and leave it empty. And here is some helpful plugins. We, we don't need all these plugins. I'm removing this removing this and we can keep this WP forms so now click on the next okay so congratulations WordPress installed successfully so here is our username here is password website and admin URL now I'm going to log in my WordPress dashboard so this is our WordPress dashboard and when you go to visit site we can see this is our WordPress website and this time here is installed a default WordPress theme so you can see this kind of design alright so we have successfully installed our WordPress website after installing WordPress I'm going to cleaning up my WordPress website so I'm just going to remove all unnecessary items which I don't need for this time. 
so first I'm going to plugins and here I will only keep this WP form slide and I will remove all other plugins so I'm selecting all and just deselect this one and here I'm just going to deactivate for the first time and apply and now again selecting all plugins except this WP forms and selecting delete and apply okay so next I'm going to post and from here I'm just deleting this default post from here and going to trash and empty trash now next going to pages selecting all these dummy pages and move to trash apply now going to trash and empty trash similar way we can check all others here is no default command all this is almost clean and here is users so here is my all information as admin user so from here here is more different options we can change our admin color scheme to a different one we can keep any one as our choice then keyboard shortcut toolbar these are not necessary to change and here is first name last name we can also type on this and here is the username we can also change it I'm just leaving all this as I just created this username few times before and display name publicly as this name so when we post any blog post or anything so that case it will show the author name as admin Farjana or we can make it Farjana Rashid or something or only Farjana and here is admin email address we can change it or keep it and here is website address some more information about myself we can just fill it for this time with some dummy text and uh, website I'm typing my website name these are just uh, about author information if uh, any cases we post some blog or something that case if we want to show the author information this information will show and here is also profile picture for author we can add or change this profile picture from just clicking on this link for this time I'm just keeping all as it is and here is also password change option if we want to change the password for this WordPress dashboard we can also change it so for this time all is good for me I'm now going to update profile okay so next I'm going to settings and here is site title site tag we need not to change anything from here for this time next going to readings and here is some options for blog pages how many posts will show in blog page by default and here is much more options I'm just doing which we need to do for this time here is search engine visibility I'm just making it off for this time when our site is ready to go then we can make it on so that time it will be able to indexing by search engines so now I'm just making it discourage search engine from indexing this site now save changes and next here is permalink permalink is most important thing in the website structure so what is the permalink permalink is the page URL or post URL so when we create any page or post that case we can see the link in the top area like website URL slash blah 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 or about or something or when we type any post we can see the post URL name for example how to make a WordPress website so if we just create a post we want to see the permalink will be like this so our website URL then the post name these all are not user friendly or SEO friendly so we need to select this one and save changes okay so and here is one more thing 
I'm just going to edit and here I just uh, want to keep the default color scheme for this time and update profile and finally here is appearance and themes so here we can see all these are themes so these three are by default by WordPress so this theme is now activated and we can see the website looks like this and when we change the theme to this one and if we refresh the website this time you can see the look and feel of this website is totally changed and again if we change the theme to 2017 and now refresh the website yeah we can see it's also changed for this tutorial I'm going to install a free theme Astra so I'm going to add new and searching for Astra this is the theme we are going to install so I'm click on install and activate okay so now if we go to the website we can see our website layout again changed so our WordPress theme installed successfully. Now I'm going to install our page builder Elementor. I'm going to my website farjanayoshi.com then going to tools and scroll down here is Elementor Pro or Elementor. So just click on get started and here we go so get started and do you have a WordPress website yes I have so yes I should do just click on continue and install Elementor on your website so here I need to put the URL of my domain so just copy my URL and paste it here and click for WordPress click to install and now install now then activate plugin so our Elementor page builder installed successfully so Elementor has their free version and also their pro versions but in this tutorial I will use only their free versions and here I will install one more plugin so I'm going to plugins and add new and searching for essential yeah so this is the plugin essential add-ons for Elementor I'm also going to install this one and activate okay so now I'm going to create our page going to page and add new I'm making the home page let's going to publish and now edit with Elementor alright so this is our Elementor page builder so let me introduce with this page builder so first here is uh, options to start from scratch and here is another options to import a pre-made layout so first let me show you these options add a new section so under each section we have to select a structure here is different kind of structure one column structure two column structure three column structure and here is more different kind of structure so here I'm taking the one column structure and under each structure we have to take a element so for this just click on this plus icon and in the left side we can see here is different kind of elements from Elementor these are for free and here is some pro options and also here is some more different kind of elements and also here are some extra elements these are coming from our essential add-ons plugin so now for example here I'm taking this heading element so just drag it from here and drop it and now 
if we want to do any customization for this section just click this icon of this section edit section and on the left side we can see here is some more customization options like content width we can make it to box or full width and here is column gap here is height we can make our section to a specific height by default minimum height to 400 pixel or we can make it to fit to a screen so it will be the screen size for this time i'm making it to mean height and here is column position we can make our column to top middle or bottom and here is vertical alignment also we can change our vertical alignment for our columns or elements and here is also overflow options and here is different more options we can check all these and here also the style tab so from here we can add some background color here is color here is image so we can change the background color to a different color or we can upload any image from here and here is a gradient color option and also here is video background option so we can also use any video as our section background and here is also slideshow so we can also add some different images as slideshow and that will work as our background so for this time i'm just uh, trying a gradient color so here is the starting color black we can use the blue like that and here is the pink color and here is the angles so we can rotate our gradient color and here is also background overlay so we can add any overlay color or overlay gradient with this color for this time i did not select any color so you can add some overlay for this time i'm making it to off and here is also border we can add some section border and then here is shape divider this is a cool options of elementor builder so i'm going to bottom and type so here we can select different kind of shapes for example curve or tilt webs you can select mountains and here is a cool effect wave brush this is really cool and natural looking we can keep this and we can also increase the section height so going to layout and we can make it to 600 and then here is advanced tab so from here we can also add some margin padding with this section and here is some more options and similar way if we want to add some customization or custom style with columns so that case we need to click here edit column and from here we can also find some more customization option for columns here is column width vertical align then horizontal align widgets space and also here we can find the style tab so from here we can also add some specific background for column so for this time i don't like to add any specific background for this column and here is also custom typography for this column and here is also advanced tab and here is uh, one more thing we will find almost similar process for all items all columns or sections so every time we will find this kind of layout settings this kind of style tab this kind of advanced tab so in the similar way if we just want to customize our elements we need to click on this pencil icon and on the left side we can change this text for example welcome to our website and we can find here is more options here is alignment we can make the alignment to center and also html tag we can make it to h1 h2 
I'm making it to h2 as default and here is some size we can make it to by default large excel or small but here I like to use the default from here and for more customization I like to do this from style tab then here is text color we can make it to a different color we can make it to white so for this i'm making it to fff and here is typography so from here we can make specific font style for this text so for this one we can make the font to poppins or we can try any other fonts the styling fonts and from here font size we can make it to 60 or 65 and here is text transform we can make it to uppercase or we can make it to default lowercase and here is also text decoration line height letter spacing for this time i'm making all this as default and now if we want to add a different title under this text so that case again we need to add a new element so this time i'm just clicking on this top right side this icon and now again selecting heading and this time first i'm just duplicating this style going here going to right click and copy and next here paste style and for this time i'm going to style tab going to typography and making the font size to 30 pixel and using a different font this time i'm using monstrat and making the text transform to uppercase or here we can decrease the font size to 20 and adding some letter spacing and here i'm changing the text from here okay so now we can see here is some more spacing between these two items so for this i'm going to edit column sections and layout and from here we can see we just spacing by default 20 pixel we can make it to zero and now we can see the extra spacing is removed and as a third item we can add here a button so again i'm going to click on this icon and searching for button and here you can see here is a button and in the similar way we can make it to alignment to center and going to style tab here we can also change the typography we can make it to Monserrat and text transform to uppercase letter spacing and here background color we can make it to height or we can make it to transparent and here we can add some border I'm adding a solid type border and width to one pixel and here we can add some spacing between this text and buttons so for this i'm going to advanced tab and here is margin top so now if we want to add 10 pixel top we can see this margin is adding 10 pixel in top bottom left and right but here i want to add this margin only in top so for this what we can do we can make it to zero and here just click on this link icon and making it to unlink and now we can change it for only top area to 20 pixel yes yeah, so now it's only working for top and here if we want to make it more closer with this top text so that case again going to advanced tab making it to unlink and for the top we can make it to minus 10 so here is some minus margin and it's coming more closer with this text and for this button if we want to make a link 
so for that just going again to the button going to content and here you can see a link options by default here is hashtag so we can add any specific link or any specific section for this button so when someone clicks here it will redirect to a certain page or certain sections so we are done for the top area and in the similar way we can create our next section from here for this time we can select a two column structure or three column structure or any one and for the rest of the section you can continue the same process and you can use your own design skill to complete this full page now i'm going to show you the next process how we can style our website so for this time i'm just deleting this structure so for that i'm going to click here in the cross icon delete section also from here and now here is the another way add template so just click here and here we can see here is different kind of pre-made template by elementor so we can import any pre-made template for our design as a starter and on the left here is blocks so here we can find also different kind of sections for different areas so now i will show you how we can start with a pre-made page so here we can see here is different kind of starter template here is some free and here is some pro as we are using the free version so for this time we can use only the free templates if we like any pro item you can upgrade it and you can use any pro template so for this time i am searching for agency so i'm trying to make a agency website for this time so here you can see this is the free and these are also pro so i'm going to insert this one and this template is imported successfully so now if I want to change any text from here just keep my cursor here and start typing we can change our text from the left side I'm typing here welcome to our website and for this text if we want to change this text just click my cursor here and from the left side similar way we can change all this text and if we want to change this background image just click on this section edit icon and going to style tab and from here we can see here is the background image so I want to upload my own another image so for this time I'm going to download a free high quality image so for this I'm going to pixabay.com this is a free image download resource so from here we can get high quality images for completely free so here I'm searching for nature nature background or wallpaper I'm typing nature and here you can see here is very cool background image so we can take any one for this time I'm taking this one and on the right side you can see here is free download button and here we can see there is different options so from here we can select any size images for this time I'm going to select a comparatively low resolution image so if we download a high quality image or a large size image it may decrease our page loading speed so now I am going to download a low quality image and going to download and I'm not a robot just click here and download save this one and now from here I'm going to upload this image upload file select files and going to download and this is the image then insert media 
and you can see this image is showing in our background and here is a image overlay color so we can also change this from here background overlay and here is the color we can make it to black and here we can also decrease the opacity we can make it like this and after making any changes don't forget to click on this update button and in the similar way for the second section if we want to change these images and if we want to use our own client logo just click on this edit icon button and from the left side here we can remove all these images and we can add our own logo so for this time i am just skipping all this as it is so i am just showing you how you can do with your own content and here is a testimonial area similar way from the left side you can text your testimonial text from the left side and here is the image you can upload your own clients image and here is the name here is the title and for the next section if we want to change this text just click here and from the left side you can start change your text and for this line if you want to change the color just click on this pencil icon going to style tab and here is the color so from here you can also use your own theme color and on the right side here is the image just click here and here is the image just click here and going to upload file and from here you can use your own image this is really so easy and so much user friendly so anyone can do just click any item and they can change anything image or text from the left side and here if you want to add any new section just click on the plus section and from here in the similar way I show you already just click on this plus icon take any sections one column or two column and in the similar way if you want to add any text module or any other module just drag it and drop it here and on the right side if you want to add any image or anything else just do like that so I am deleting it for this time and for the rest of the section we can do in the similar way if we want to change this icon and text just click on this pencil icon and from the left side we can change this image change this text details and all these and for this section also in the similar way we can change this text from the left side change this button style or button background color each time if we want to change any text just click on here and from the left side we can change this text and if we want to change any styling just we need to click on this style tab and if we want to change any background image just click on this section or edit icon and going to style tab and here you will find the image most of the time so this is really cool really easy to do if you can browse your Facebook you can also customize this template just in few clicks so now I want to show you a different resource for this Elementor template so first I'm going to deleting all these sections and now I'm again going to click on add template and here is my templates so here I want to import a external layout so for this time I'm going to another website where I will find some cool professional design template for Elementor so for this I'm going to heywordpress.com so this is another resource for Elementor template here we can find different kind of professional and good looking template for Elementor and I'm also a co-author of this 
heywordpress.com so now here i am searching for a agency template so for this i am going to select the business from the left side and here we can see here is different kind of template for business and if we want to have a quick look just click on here and here we can see a quick view of this template here is a black theme and if we want to see the live preview just click here and from here we can see the full view of the website template this is really cool and fully professional looking template and we can use it for our website and their price is really affordable and very much cheaper so we can see they are offering it only for less than ten dollars this is really cool and if we don't like this black version we can check this another one this is a similar design but in white fashion and here we can see here is some basic requirements how we can install this template so here we have to use the Astra theme and here is some important notes we have to install the Elementor page builder free version and WP forms free version essential add-ons for Elementor so we have already installed these three plugin if we go to our dashboard just copy this dashboard link and paste it here and if we go to our plugins we can see we have already installed Elementor free version essential add-ons for Elementor and WP form slide so we have all these three plugins already installed and we are using the Astra theme so for now I'm going to download this template so I already buy this one but I'm showing you how you can do this just click on this buy now then add to cart and from here then going to subtotal checkout and here we have to put our email address and card information then click on the pay button and then you can download a zip file so after downloading we can find a zip file like this and if we extract this one we can find here is a dot json file phoenix agency template light dot json so we need to import this one first so for this i'm going to my template and going to import template select file and from here this is the file okay so now click on the insert button and yes okay so our template imported successfully and now if we want to change any text from here just in the similar way you know we have to click my cursor here and we can start typing from the left side or we can even type from the text so I'm typing welcome to our website and now here is a fancy text in the bottom so here some text is static I'm typing here I'm Farjana and expert in now here is the fancy text one so from here I'm typing web design and the second one web development and if we want to add a third one just click on the add item and from here we can add a different one like a SEO or something and after making these changes just click on this update button and here in the similar way if we want to change this background image just click on this edit section and going to style tab and from here we can add our own image for this time I'm leaving it as it is 
and for the about section here in the similar way if we want to change this text just click here and here is the text and now for about us text just click here and here is about us and we can see here is a text behind this two line text about in the big test so for this just above of it here is the icon and here is the about so from here we can change this text and for the rest of the text in the similar way just click my cursor here and from the left side we can change all this text and here see our services so if we want to change this text just similar way click on this pencil icon and here we can change our text from here and here one more thing when we click here see our service by default it's scroll down to the service area so here is a section id already added in this section if we go to this section and go to advanced tab we can see here is a css id already added and in this button here you can see this id is linked with this button so if we want to link this button with another section or if we want to do the similar thing with any other button so we can do in this similar way and for the next area here is work and skills so we can also change all this text in the similar way and here is percent for skills so here in the similar way here is counter value we can change it from here here is text we can also change it from here and here is services I see here is the button missing so don't worry about this just I'm going to copy and paste it here and you can see this is so much easy to do and here if we want to change the service and icon just click here and here we can change this icon and all this text from left side and here all this button is linked to our bottom contact area so when we click on this button it will scroll down to our contact area and now if we want to add more services like this just click on this section right click and duplicate and here we can see here is more services added so for this time I'm just deleting it and next here is testimonial area also in the similar way just click here and from the left side we can change this image and here is testimonial content we can also change this text company name and username and here is also ratings so scroll down and from below here is the display rating so if we want to hide it just click here and we can see this is hide from here and here rating number by default 5 we can make it to 4 or anything but I like to use rating 5 most of the time and this is the same way for all others and for next area here is the portfolio section so now if we click the design tab we can see here is two item under this design and here is development we can see here is two different under this tab and this is for e-commerce so if we are a photographer you can create different kind of category instead of design development and e-commerce so we can change all this from left side so we scroll down here is filterable control so all these are coming from this filterable control area and here is design web development and e-commerce so for this time for design I am using photography and now if we click on the photography we can see here is blank so no item is added under photography so I'm just going to copy and going to gallery item and here here is different item so I'm just selecting the first one and here is the control name design to I'm making it to photography and 
now if we click on photography we can see here is the item and this is the item name so when we hover over any item we can see this is the design example this is the item name and here is the short description these are coming from here so we can change all these details and also item name and we can add more item under this photography tab so here i am also changing the control name to photography and when you click on photography you can see here is two item added under this photography and now i'm saving it then here is a team member area so for this in similar way just click on this pencil icon and from the left side we can change this image and for this text just click here and here is the text also for this one here is the text and here is some social link icon so i am going to click here and in the left side we can see here is the facebook so if we have any facebook page or profile url we can add this link here here is link for twitter we can add our twitter link here is pinterest we can add it from here here is instagram and if we like to delete any of this for example if we don't like to use the pinterest i'm just going to delete it from here and i want to add here instagram or sorry linkedin so for that here is the icon i am going here and selecting linkedin insert and here we can add our linkedin link and now if we want to move it to top just scroll it to top now linkedin is the third item and in the similar way you can do this for all others and i'm saving it and next here is packages or price table so in the similar way if we want to change text just click here and from the left side we can start typing with our own package details and here is some um, another style we can also copy and paste it here and in the top text just similar way here is the text and here is book now so all these buttons are linked to our contact form by default if we don't want to link it to our contact area you can change it from here here is the link hashtag and contact section id so we can remove it or we can change it from here if we want to add an external website link we can put it here and next here is client's logo area in the similar way just click here and from the left side we can also change all these images this is an image carousel i already show you before so from here we can delete any item and if we want to again add to gallery just going here and we can add it to gallery and insert gallery and next here is a blog section so for this time we are not using any blog if we have some blog post we can see all these blog post is showing in this area so for this time i am just removing this section and finally here is the contact section so here in the left side we can put our address from here we can add our location or address details and here is the phone number here is the email and here is the social link so i already show you how you can change all this link and how you can add new item and here on the right side here is the contact form when we click here we cannot see any form this time because we have to create a wp form first and then we can see from this drop down item so let's go ahead to create a simple contact form for this time i'm saving it and from dashboard here is the wp form and going to add new 
here is several options here is blank form simple contact form we can start from a default template so I'm going here create a simple contact form and here we can see here is the first name last name email and here is message if we want to edit any title just click here and from the left side here is the level we can change it to only message and here is email and here is more options we can make it required or we can make it to optional and if we want to add any extra new field for example if we want to add a phone number option so for that here add fields and here is numbers so just drag it from here and drop it and just click here and from left side type phone or phone number and we can make it to required or not required and if we don't want to use it for now or if we want to delete anyone just click here from the right side yes we want to delete this item okay and for the submit button if we want to change this text just click here and here is the submit button text we can make it to send or send message and here is the submit button processing text sending and here is the form name we can change all this from here and here is some more options notifications so here when some people fill this form it will redirect to your email address for this time here is using the admin email address for this wordpress website we can change to another email which we use most of the time i am using my own email address and email subject we can also change the subject and we can type anything and from name so we can change also any name so we can see this email is came from this name and from this email address this is the email address which people fill into their form and here is reply to and all fields so all these input field will send to our email address and here is confirmation and here is some more options so when people fill this form they can see this success message thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly so from here we can also change this success message or from here we can also change it to another page so when someone fill this form it will redirect to a certain page or certain url for this time I'm leaving all this as default and I'm saving it and now I'm going to refresh the page builder and now we scroll down now click on this form and from left side select form you can see here is the form we just created and yeah we can see this form which we have just created first name last name email address message and here is the button and you can see all this field is already getting the default style from this template and I am saving it okay so our page is almost ready and here if we check responsive view for tablet and mobile just click on the left bottom corner here is the responsive mode and going to tablet and going to top and we can see this template is completely ready for tablet and going to mobile and also you can see this is also completely ready for phone 
so we need not to worry about this tablet and mobile view and all these responsive steps okay so now i'm going to again the desktop mode and now i have to focus on the header area and footer area so before styling the header first i'm going to create the menu so for this again going to dashboard and here appearance and menu and here i'm going to create a menu i'm typing here main menu and create menu we can type any name here and display location primary menu selecting this one and save menu and now here we have only one page from the left side but here i want to make it as one page website so for this time i want to add some menu item in the top and when we click any item it will scroll down to a specific section so for that again i'm going to custom link and here first i want to add about and for the url i'm going to about section going to edit section advanced tab and here you can see the css id already added i'm going to copy and here i'm adding a hashtag and paste it and now add to menu next i'm going to service area so going here going to advance and here is the css id so in the similar way again i'm adding hashtag and this id and text will be service and add to menu and in the similar way i'm adding going to testimonial and going to copy here is the add to menu testimonial then going to work advanced tab and portfolio section and here and from here portfolio add to menu next going to team member area going to advance here is no id okay i need not to add this section i'm going to choose a package going to advance and here is pricing section so i am typing this and for text i am adding pricing and add to menu and then finally you can add the contact so going to advanced tab contact section and here i am typing hashtag and id and for text i am typing contact and add to menu and now save menu okay so now i'm going to from here view page okay so now we can see our menu is created and if we click on about yes yeah, scroll down to about section and if we click on service we can also go here and same working for all these sections and now i'm going to add a logo in the left side and i will try to more customize our header and footer area so for this i'm going to customize from here we can also access it from our dashboard so for that case going to appearance and customize but already i am in here and now i am just leaving all these unnecessary steps and here for this logo you can see when we hover over this we, here is the edit icon just click here and from the left 
we can upload our own logo so I am going to upload my logo and select skip cropping and I want to hide this text from header so scroll down and disable display site title okay so if you have your own logo you can upload your own logo from here but if you don't have already so if you like to get your own business logo or you want to get a professional logo from any professionals so for that case you can go to here you can go here fiber.com and you can type here logo design from service and here you can find so many services many professional people are offering so you can also filter if you want to create in a low budget so here is the budget and you can make it to 10 to 20 and apply and here you can see you can also get any professional logo from $10 from $20 and here if we just go to here you can see they are creating more professional logo different kind of logo and here they are offering different kind of packages in different prices so from here you can select anyone and you can order for a professional logo you can select anyone from here I will leave all this link in my description so you can get all this link in my description so I am just crossing it for this time and going to customize and now for the menu I am going again to edit menu and here if we go to the tablet or mobile view we can see here is the icon so from here if we want to change the button icon color just click here and if we want to add the same color just i'm using a color picker and i'm taking this color and paste it here and you can see this icon color is changed to our theme color and here also menu level so we can also add a text with this icon menu or anything and here is several kind of options for this icon style here is fill and here is outline and I like to use the minimal one and now I'm going to the footer area so I'm again going to the desktop mode and going to scroll down and for footer if we want to change this copyright text just click here and from here we can change this text copyright here is the current year so you will get the current year by default here is site title here is showing the site title here is my site title is for general sheet so it's showing here and finally the powered by astra theme so we can also change the name powered by company name and here if we want to change the background color just click here and here is the background and we can change the color in the similar way and here is the border color we can also change this color or we can make the darker and I'm saving it from here and here one more thing I am just telling you so here we are using a free version of Elementor and free version of Astra theme so if you want to get more customization option for header footer and all these other pages like block single page and all other and want to get more cool options so that case we can upgrade to a pro version so for this time we are okay with this design and this is really cool with a free version of elementor i'm happy with this design for this time okay so now I'm going to visit my website and we can see all this is ready now 
and this is really cool. And finally, I just forgot to show one more thing. So here, when we click on the logo or going to the main site URL, you can see the main blog post page. But here, we want to see the home page which we just created. So for this, again, I'm going to dashboard. And from here, going to settings and going to reading now here i have to select the second one a static page so from here home page i'm selecting this one and save changes and now if i go to visit site we can see our home page is loading in the main url so for this website we are ready to go and this website is completely ready for mobile and tablet view so if you like this video please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial